To create a really cool glow, you need to have a starting base. And you do that by creating a solid color adjustment layer and after you choose your glow color, set the layer to overlay and then invert the mask. With the mask selected, select the area that you need to apply the glow and in my case I use the pen tool. And after that I pressed Ctrl and Enter to select the area and then press delete on the inverted mask. Then repeat the first step and set the blending mode to linear dodge. Invert the mask, take the brush tool and then start to paint with the white color on the mask. To blend better the color you need to apply the blend diff. For that double click on the layer, hold alt and then drag the left slider to the right. If you need to adjust it, just paint on the mask with the black color to remove some parts of the glow and with the white color if you want to add more glow. The first step is the same, but set the blending more to color dodge and then paint on the mask with the white color to add more glow and also apply the blend if again. Now the best part, if you want a really powerful glow, is to use the gradient map. I've learned this from Max Asabin and I use this technique a lot ever since. First step is to create a group and set the group blending mode to screen. Inside that group, create a new layer and fill it with black, which in my case I rename it to base. The next layer inside the group on top of the base one, it will be an empty layer where we will paint the glow later on. And the last one, the last layer in this group is the gradient map adjustment layer. Here you need the first color from the left set to black and the last from the right set to white. Then at 25% you need to set your glow color and in my case it's orange. And then it becomes brighter and brighter. At 50% you need to set a brighter color, in my case a brighter orange. And then at 75% the brightest one in my case, as I said, the brightest orange. Then go back to the empty layer and start to paint with a white color. And don't forget, be sure to have a really low flow around 5-6% because this is really powerful. And if you want to remove some parts of the glow, just switch to the black color and paint on those areas that you want to remove. For the highlights, first thing is to create a new layer and then fill it with black. Set the blending mode to linear dodge and clip the layer inside your character layer or subject layer by holding alt and click between the layers. Then take the brush tool, I usually use the soft round brush and then start to paint around the sides of your subject with the surrounding colors of the background. So if you have a blue light source, you paint with a dark blue, not the bright blue. And then if you have, let's say, a red light source, paint with the dark red. And at the end, apply again the blend diff. So I'm creating the same layer, fill it with black and set the blending mode to linear dodge. But I leave the layer on top of my subject, I'm not clipping it inside. And then I take the brush tool and then start to carefully paint around the edges of my subject with a small size soft brush and I use the colors from my background but this time the bright values so if my background has some blue light source I draw the rim lights with a bright blue in that area and a bright red if I have a red light source in my background And if you want your rim lights to really stand out, repeat the same step but send the blending mode to color dodge and paint with the white color on the margins of your subject. But not too much because color dodge is really strong for glows. If you want more glow behind the character, just repeat the step with the color dodge layer. Create a new layer underneath the subject layer, fill with black and set the blending mode to color dodge and then start to paint with some colors from the background. 
For the final step, in my case, I drew some fog on top of my character using some dark values of the background colors and after that at the end I applied the camera row filter. I hope that you found this video helpful and please click on this video next if you want to see how I apply these techniques for glows and highlights on this artwork. I am sure that you learn a lot.